In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head into a live online competitive match and head-to-head -head regs and share with you what I'm thinking, why I'm thinking it, and how I run both the best offense and the best defense in the Madden community right now. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player. And so if you want to become better at the game, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. I post several videos every single day that are designed to help you become a better Madden player. And, and I've learned a lot from not just my videos, um, but studying other people on the road to becoming um, a better Madden player. Okay, guys, so that to be said, I am running the Gun Bunch tight end out of the Run Heavy playbook right now. And the Run Heavy playbook, I believe, is super underrated um, because you have the Gun Bunch and you also have the single back trio that basically look exactly the same. And then you have some other formations as well that are really, really effective, like the gun doubles, the gun ace, the pistol, um, all kinds of good stuff like that. So um, for right now, I'm in run heavy. Uh, has Definitely has the best bunch tight end, and so that's really the primary reason uh, as to why I'm running it. So running some PA boot over, but I have a whole ebook out on the bunch tight end. If you want to pick it up, it's in the description. I run a lot more than just PA boot over. PA boot over is like the main play that I run but it's not the only play that I run for sure. And so, again, if you want to get those plays, um, that is in the description of the video if you want to get that ebook. Now, right here, it looks like he's going to go some man coverage, but he makes the mistake of putting a linebacker on Aaron Jones, and that's just simply not going to work. Uh, what I love about the Packers is they're just the best regs team, 100%. Now, unfortunately for me, I had to receive the opening kickoff. I would much rather kick the ball um, in a competitive matchup because... I don't want to, I always want to have the opportunity to double up after halftime and, and just have that extra possession uh, coming out of half. So, uh, right here, we need to get out of the pocket. And Rodgers is going to throw, overthrow his man. He might get a roughing the passer. And we do get a roughing the passer. That's a huge penalty right there. So, one of the things that I always have to be mindful of and something that I'm not the, the best at when it comes to Madden is I'm not the best at monitoring my my quarterback's stamina. I want to go, like, duck speed. I want to no huddle, no huddle, no huddle, no huddle, and go. Unfortunately, with the way the game has just changed over the years, that's not really an option uh, anymore. So, um, I have to kind of be aware of that and be mindful of that. So, right here, I'm going to go to inside switch. Just a kind of a change-up play here, just... You know, seeing how he handles this little motion slant. I, I cannot tell you how important the motion slant is in Madden right now. If you're not using motion slants in your offense, you're probably not doing it right. Motion slants are the probably the one of the number one uh, top routes in the game. Right here, I'm just going to throw it away. One of the things that I'm going to have to monitor is be I don't have um, Bakhtiari in there. I need to get my edge protector. That's also why I like the Packers. They have an edge protector, so you can move him from side to side depending on where their best pass rusher is. I like to sub my best pass blocker where their, net, where their best pass rusher is. So if Zedaria Smith was on the other side, I would put him on the other side. But anyway, here, this is going to bring up a, a key third down and two. He's going to blitz me out of dime 146. And we're going to have that delay fade for a touchdown. That's huge. So he didn't go to the delay fade. I was totally expecting him to go to that. He didn't go to the delay fade, and we were able to hit him. We might have had the crossing route open, too. Um, one thing I'm going to do is, I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I was going to take a delay a game so that I could set my defense up, but I'll just do that at the pre-play menu. Um, a couple things on defense before we get started. I'm running 3-3-5. Um, I believe 3-3-5 is by far the best defense, especially for the Packers, because the Packers have the best defense to run it. Like, they have really good linebackers that you can put at defensive end, and they have really good safeties that you can put at linebacker. And they have really fast corners that you can put all across the board. So I think they're the best defense in Madden 21. Uh, as far as regs goes, that's just my personal opinion. Obviously, they have the best quarterback, too, uh, with Aaron Rodgers having Gunslinger. The only thing is that Aaron Rodgers doesn't have a hot route master, but you know you can kind of get through that. Um, you know, honestly, especially with running bunch tight end. Bunch tight end doesn't really require uh, you to have a ton of... Um, of abilities. So I'm going to go ahead and take that time out there. I didn't really need to do that. I could have probably just paused the game. That's something I need to do better is not waste these valuable timeouts. Um, but we'll go ahead and just finish getting the defense set up. So one thing you can do is you'll see if you see this little clock right here running down, you can just pause the game 
and then when you unpause, I actually learned this from KMAC, when you unpause, uh, you'll get a, you'll get an additional limit to be able to use. So it just allows you a little bit of flexibility uh, with setting your defense up. Now, the way that I play defense is uh, I will 100% of time run man coverage on the first drive. Uh, you're going to see a lot of man coverage from me on the first drive. Basically, what I'm asking is what are your man beaters? Uh, and I'm asking that you know pretty much every, every, every single drive. Uh, for the first drive, that's what I'm going to ask. Now, you're seeing here um, he's given me a lot of, um, of logistical problems here. It's because I didn't do that right there. I need to put my guy on a blitz so that he doesn't get shamed. Um, there's the crosser. i got to go get that, come back down here. And, oh, he threw that ball, and I should have got a pick. I clicked on the player, but I didn't get it. So, so far, what are his man beaters? And so far, the answer is he doesn't have very many. So, um now he's going to five wide and again i always like to move manually move my guy here uh, just so that i can make sure and he's going to throw right at me i was holding ball hawk i don't know why i didn't get the pick there that's really frustrating all right there we go we got our setup in this time now we'll see him beat man and he's probably going to scramble around and he's going to throw us another pick and somehow oh my goodness this is one of the craziest drives in, in Madden history right here. Um, Alright. Uh, I can't get my setup in. I'm really nervous because of the quick snap. There's a quick snap. So this time I have a spy on the field. That should take that away. There's got to be an interception there. There's double coverage all over that. So really what I'm seeing right now is I don't have to be too worried about this. Um, his offense is not, uh, not where it needs to be as far as beating... Uh, man to man, uh, but uh, obviously he's got angels, uh, and of course I screw up a user trying to adjust and just get that one last adjustment in. Ended up getting quick snapped, and he rolls into the end zone for an easy touchdown. Absolutely ridiculous! One of the most frustrating drives I've ever given up. There was three throws that I think there was four throws in total that should have been intercepted, and instead three out of those four were caught for big gains. So you got to kind of let that go. Use the kickoff. Use this time to kind of let it out if you're playing because we all have these issues. You know, I get just as frustrated as everybody else does if you're playing. Use the special teams period as a time to kind of calm down, take a deep breath, and then get back in and go down and do what you need to do. It's not going to do you any good to continue to complain even if, you know, crazy stuff happens. You've got to lock in and do what you came here to do. And what you came here to do on offense is you came here to score points. So if he's not going to put hard flats out there, I'll throw that all game long. And and this is something that bunch people like people that run bunch tight end. If you are gonna if you're gonna be a good bunch tight end player, you I 100% believe that you have to take your flats on both sides. Like you have to. If you don't take your flats, you're crazy. You're crazy because if you take your flat, just like if you're running regular bunch, or if you're running trips tight end for that matter. When you, t when you force them to cover the flats on both sides on every play, it makes them have to do something they probably don't want to do. So here he's going to blitz everybody. And that was frustrating. I probably, I don't, I'm just irritated that I got stopped right there. Um, I'm going to go back to the mesh play here. He might go man coverage. And if he goes man coverage, he might be in a good position. And, yep, he is going to go man. I'm just going to throw this little curl route over the middle. Put myself in a decent position. So now PAO cross. Most people don't run man, but they play bunch tight end. I'm going to motion that out just a little bit. Give myself a little space. Try to get out of the pocket here. And Robert Tunyon just, and I guess that paid him back a little bit. That was a little bit of payback. So if he's going to run a lot of man coverage like this, this is where this curl flat corner play becomes like super, super handy for situations like this. Beat him off the press, absolutely dot. And Devontae Adams over the top, one play touchdown against press man. That was cover two man, just smart route of the curl flat corner play, the best play. I think curl flat corner is the best play in bunch. Um, bunch tight end at least. And the reason why is because it just makes it so hard for them to be able to get away with playing zone. But it also has really, really good reads against 
um, against man as well. So we're off to a good start. We got to get back on defense, and we got to lock this guy down. Um, my defense normally gives up between seven to fourteen points a game lately. Um, sometimes less than that. Normally, my defense gives up one drive, and then it typically can bounce back. So hopefully, we'll be able to do that in this game. We just have to get our adjustments in, I think, and we just have to be a little bit more, a little bit more disciplined as a user. So he's going to come out in single back wing tight. And probably, probably going to run here. We're going to run Mike Blitz. And he's going to run, and I got that nice user rush. If they ever run a play-action pass on you from the under center, they should be sacked every time in this in this defense, which is part of what makes this defense so good. Is like under center is really not an option uh, for them. All right, here we go. This This setup should be good here. Let's see how this does. And he, dang it, man. So he's just going to throw to the post route here. That's what it looks like. Goes a little slant. That's a pick. And another dropped interception for the defense. A little bit discouraged here, but got to lock in. So second and 10, ball on the 44-yard line, 3 minutes and 23 seconds left. Now he's going to go to his um, uh, his other offense. And this is kind of like trips tight end, basically. It's it's very similar. Let's see here. He's going he's gonna to audible. So he's going to flip it. He's going to run the ball. He's going to run the ball. You know he's going to run the ball. Yep. Good job. That's the run defense. We talk about that in the ebook. Again, the ebooks are in the description. Uh, if you guys want the ebooks, um, they're in the description. And throw it. Oh, that's so irritating. This guy runs a wheel route into a um, All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So he was he literally ran a wheel route into a crossing route. I don't know how that makes a lot of sense, but he's getting a really you got to be respectful though. Like he's getting a really really good uh, man switch on that. All right, right here. It's really Devonte Adams or bust, right? And he threw it to us again. Like, this guy is just, his reads are just shaky. He just throws it at you, man. He's like, I have gunslinger, I have no fear. All right, right here. Um, this is probably a bad play call, but we're just going to put some pressure on him. Try to just force something. And finally, and he almost caught that, which is the crazy part. Thri triple coverage should have been picked out of that. That's that middle high-low play. A lot of people like that play. Um, okay. Right here, what we're going to do is uh, we obviously know that we have to, have to stop this post route. So here, come here, and there we go. There's the user pick that we were wanting last time. Okay. So defense did its job. Now offense has to go down and do its job. And that's the 3-3-5. That's what the 3-3-5 does. Like normally you get one drive, and then once I figure out kind of what you want to do, um, it becomes really, really hard to do that so anyway going right into PA boot over and he's getting some really really weird like pressure like like really 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 un unrealistic pressure um, and I think it truly is because he's pat he's not pass committing so um, so yeah we're gonna we're gonna send multiple out on a route here there's that little in route. I love this route. I think this route is so powerful. A little stop and go to get us that first down. And then we're going to go no huddle. Now, once we get the ball on the right hash here, we're going to run curl flat corner and probably uh, score a touchdown. And that's a really good catch right there by Devontae Adams. That's the, like, Devontae Adams is really the key to this team. Like, if Devontae Adams is on your, like, if he's playing good, then this team is really hard to stop. There's no flats out there, so we should be able to hit that on the tiptoe sideline. And I wish I wouldn't have, wish I wouldn't have tiptoed, but that's okay. 
And right here, we're making kind of a gamble that he's going to be in man coverage. I don't know if he will be or not. And he is in man coverage. There's that slant to Tavon Austin. Touchdown Packers. Bunch tight in. Three for three. And if you're in this video and you want to get this offense, it's in the description of this video. So I can't express to you enough. The bunch tight end is one of those offenses that what I like about it is there's a lot of things that look exactly the same. You always you don't have to flip the, the, the formation, right? You're always going to run it to the right or to the left, depending on the handedness of your quarterback. But the plays look so like you, you can get just really strung out because you have so many powerful routes in this little playbook. And as long as you're mixing up your play calls well and you're making the right reads, it's borderline impossible for you to get stopped um, with this offense. All right, so defense uh, going to lock down again here. And we're going to go ahead and put a little hard flat out there to take that running back read away. And that's just, and that's, see, and that's the regs, like, that's what people are going to realize about regs, is man coverage is going to stop a lot of things, but it's not going to stop, like, the problem with man coverage and it being a meta is because it's kind of random, like, it's kind of random what it will not, like, when, when receivers will get open. Like, like, you'll be in one play, and they'll get open, and then you'll be in another play, and they won't. Like right there, I think that should have been an interception, but I just got mossed, and now he's going to get a field goal. So, um, it is what it is. But the defense is playing fine. Uh, I probably should run right here. We're gonna we need a sack, so we're gonna run a little bit of a pressure and see if we can get a sack here. And that's a really good lurk by me. Um, just slant post combo. I was able to get that. And that's a huge turnover. Like, that's that's really, really pivotal. It looks like he's going to go ahead and quit out. But if you guys want to get the offense or you want to get the defense, both of those are in the description. Offense I'm running is the bunch tight end. And the defense that I'm running is the 335 wide in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time.